Welcome to AllFreeBeadedJewelry.com's learning channel. Come to our website for thousands of free patterns and inspiring ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and of course our website to continue to receive more free patterns and crafting deals. I'm your host Mikey and ready to give you another free tutorial. So let's get started. In today's tutorial you're going to need some chainmail links, preferably two colors. It looks a lot more effective when you do two different colors instead and you can actually follow along a lot easier. You're going to need a toggle set and preferably one where the eye actually fits through the actual link itself. You're going to need two sets of pliers, one's without teeth so it does not damage your actual material, or actual uh, link itself. And you might also need some uh, wire cutters. Because of the links, uh, where, where you buy them and where you get them actually will determine the quality. So if you buy really cheap links, you'll notice that in this one here there's burrs left on the outside and sometimes the burrs are quite excessive so you'll need some wire cutters in order to cut that out if you have to. So let's get started. We're gonna. This is a necklace or a bracelet or whatever you want to make. I'm going to show you how to start and basically what I do for myself is that I grab another bracelet that I know fits me and therefore I actually make the distance exactly the same. So you can do a necklace, whatever you want to do. To get do. started on this tutorial, what you're going to need to do, the less you have to put down your tools, the faster that you'll be. So what I want you to do is go ahead and actually start opening up as many links as you think that you need. And what I do is just kind of do a whack of one and a whack of the other. And we're going to be using blue as the, the main color. I don't have a lot of green left. So what I want to do is I want to use the blue and we're going to be using two blue for every one green. To get started we want to take the accent color, in this case will be green. We want to close that link and now we want to grab the main color. In this case it's blue. So you can decide whatever you want to do. And close that and grab another blue and work your way through the green again. So you have one green and two blue linked to each other. So now what we want to do is we want to separate these bad boys out and it's very difficult to kind of manually manipulate everything together. So what I want you to do is that we want to put just like a, a wire or whatever you want to do that's easiest. Just twist it a little bit. You don't have to get it carried away. The wire cutters is great for fixing that afterward. So you want to do the two blue just like so and then you want to do the one green as well. So the wires just help you to be able to pull back the loops in order to work on the next phase of this particular project. What you should know about the half Persian is that the silver never ever linked to each other. They're sitting beside each other, right? So they're never linked and the green are never linked together. So that means that the opposites are actually linking in order to form this chain. So how does that relevant to you? It means that if you're going to look at this blue, you'll never put a blue through the center of this thing. So let's move these wires back to one side. Okay, at this point they're side by side, you got wires on both sides and the purpose of the wires is to pull one back, just like so. Put, so put those two wires together, okay, and we want to have those wires so that they're on the same side of each other, just like so. So you see that? So what we want to do now is get the blue to open up, just like so. So one is on one side, one is on the other, and what we want to do is put in two blue into the green again. So the whole purpose of that wire is that we need to establish the pattern. So putting in two blue into the green. Okay. So now when you're looking at the wires here, you've got the wire pulling back two sets of blue and now the other blue are kind of just slightly forward and that helps you. So that's uh, now established to put in the green, which is the middle of the spine, and we actually have to get it through here and through this one here. So I always like to work on one side or the other. I just happen to think it's easier to see it on top, so I just work on top. So coming on the top side, grab the first two rings that are attached to that uh, wire that you uh, made. And then you want to wing that around and you want to capture the other two rings that are in front. So it's going right in between. And then close it. So basically now you've gone in through the first set of rings and you've gone into the other. So the next point that we need to do is that we need to separate the one on the edge again. So just separate it out. And again, just getting started is the difficult part, but once you get started, it goes really quite quick. So just putting it in. So two. 
So you always have two one color and one of another if you're going to separate it out by colors like that. And again, we want to do another green. So grabbing your green, just look where you've already gone before. So you want to go from these okay, rings where the green is next, is that you can see that it's in there. So now we have to attach the green to the next two. So just coming in through the top side there and just continuing to twirl it so that it catches the next two sets right in front, just like so. So what I'm going to just do now is start, it's starting to get more complex. So I'm going to use my pliers and shut. And so basically I'm going to open these back up and attach two more blue. So the blue is very much of the spine of the project. So you get your two blue in again, and we're going to stabilize it by putting another green in. So seeing where the green already is. So do you see how the greens are kind of like all uh, facing up together? If you don't come in from the same side every time, it's going to vary, and it's actually going to affect the flexibility. So coming in, just like so, and wrapping around the front too. And again, opening it back up. So that's all it is. This is the half Persian. You go as long as you want to go. And uh, it actually doesn't take uh, very much time at all. And uh, it just is a really kind of cool project. So keep on going. And then all you need to do then is to, to, to put another loop in here and attach your toggles Side on one. both sides. To attach your toggles, all you just need to do is take your wire cutters. You could have already cut those off before. That just helps you get stabilized. Voila. And then basically you just want to be able to put in your toggle set. So using another blue, because it seems like that's your standard color, you can just open it up. You can put it through, just like so. I'd actually recommend just going through the two blue, just like that. Okay, so don't go through the that one there, because you'll end up with two that are kind of like sloppy. So go through the two blue, just like so. Put your toggle. Make sure your toggle does fit before you decide which one you want. And close it shut. So then that's one side, and basically you just look on the other side. Again, I'd go through the two blue. On the other side, and grabbing your toggle set, putting it in, and closing it. And that would be how to finish and start your little project.